Hello friends, in this video we will see another problem based on the syllogism and the problem is uh, the first statement given is some dogs are rats and the second syllogism or the statement given is some rats are horses some rats are horses and the first conclusion given is some horses are dogs some horses are dogs and the second conclusion given is no horse no horse is a rat no horse is a rat if the first conclusion is alone true then we have to select option a if the second conclusion alone is true we have to select option b either first one or second one is true we have to select option c if both are false then we have to select the d if both are true then we have to select the option e okay so in the previous video i told one rule so what rule i told when there is uh, like uh, sum plus sum will give no conclusion will give no conclusion right so, so in the previous uh, video i told when there is a sum plus sum will give no conclusion in the same manner all plus sum will also give no conclusion and if the first one is starting with no and the second statement or the syllogism is also starting with no so uh, it is also going to be give no conclusion it is also going to be give no conclusion so if you observe here the given two statements okay the given two syllogism the first one is starting with sum and the second one is also starting with sum and here the predicate of the first uh, statement is equivalent to the subject of the second statement so that means according to this rule sum plus sum and here the predicate of the first one is equivalent to the subject of the second one so that means from these two given statement of the syllogism we cannot conclude we cannot conclude anything we cannot conclude so anything so we cannot conclude anything so that means the given two conclusions are going to be false only because we cannot conclude anything with this rule so that means actually we cannot so that means so we cannot uh, prove that actually these two given conclusions are true so that means the given two conclusions are always going to be false in this kind of cases so that means we have to select the option d only okay so when we cannot conclude anything so we cannot check actually given two conclusions are true or not okay so that means these conclusions itself are going to be false why because we cannot conclude anything from these two statement because the both of them are starting with sum and sum and the predicate of the first one is equivalent to the subject of the second one okay so according to the rule of sum plus sum will give no conclusion so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel